Patients with AFib should be stratified according to their stroke risk so that they can be placed on the appropriate antithrombotic regimen. A simple clinical tool to perform this task is a CHADS-2 score, with points being assigned for a history of CHF, hypertension, age 75 or greater, diabetes, and two points for stroke or TIA. Scores indicate the treatment option that is best suited for the patient. For a score of zero, aspirin-325 daily is the recommended antithrombotic regimen. If the patient has a score of 1, then either aspirin-325 or oral anticoagulation can be used, based upon a discussion between the physician and patient. A total score of 2 or more indicates that the patient's annual stroke risk is high enough that it warrants oral anticoagulation, usually with warfarin. A revised extension of CHADS-2 called the CHADS-2 VAS score has been developed and has shown incremental improvement in the classification of a patient's risk. The numeric thresholds for therapies are the same for CHADS-2 VAS as for CHADS-2, but the total possible score is 9. There are additional factors that account for the difference. The CNH still represents CHF and hypertension age 75 or greater is 2 points instead of 1. The D still stands for diabetes and S for stroke. Prior vascular disease is a new criterion with 1 point for a history of peripheral artery disease, myocardial infarction, or aortic plaque. Age between 65 and 74 years qualifies as 1 point and female gender adds an additional point. Now let's go over the answer choices. Choice A, aspirin-325 daily, is the correct answer. This patient's CHADS-2 and CHADS-2 VAS scores are both zero. Thus, aspirin-325 is sufficient. Choice B, aspirin-81 daily, is incorrect. While aspirin can be used in patients with lower scores, the recommended dose is 325 daily, since this was the dose studied in large AFib trials. Choice C, Warfarin with target INR 2 to 3 is incorrect. Since this patient's risk for stroke is low, the most appropriate therapy would be aspirin. Choice D, warfarin with target INR 2.5 to 3.5 is also incorrect. While warfarin is used for AFib in patients with a higher stroke risk, the target INR is generally 2 to 3. A higher target of 2.5 to 3.5 should be used in patients who develop thromboembolism while on warfarin with the lower target.